Hello everyone and welcome back to Kyoto Wombat. Today I'm going to be opening a collector booster box of Double Masters 2022. Um, pretty crazy set, lots of cool stuff in it. Um, yeah, you get four packs out of these, so let's see what we get. Hey, I got that one open. Alright, usually I struggle with getting those open. And then there's a second box. Alright, so let's get that out of here. All right, so let's see what we get. So we got our four packs. One, two, three, four. Good deal. We're not missing any packs. All right, so what we're looking for is is stuff like the uh, textured foils or really just any of the, the good mythics in this set. Um, there's a lot of great stuff. So we're going to start with the foil commons and uncommons. We'll have uh, two borderless cards. Borderless commons or uncommons. Then borderless foil, commons or uncommons. You'll have a foil rare, borderless rare, etched foil rare, and then the biggest slot is that borderless foil uh, rare at the back. So that's what we're in for, and let's get started. All right, so let's get through our commons and uncommons. I'm going to go through these just so I'm not spoiling myself by seeing the, uh, the other cards here. All right, just got charmed. That's a nice looking card. All right. All right, so our first borderless, we got Simic Growth Chamber. That's a nice one. We got Spell Pierce, a borderless foil Thought Scour, and then a borderless foil Gruel Turf. That's very nice. All right, so our first rare is Villainous Wealth. Uh, nothing too fancy about that. That's just fine. We got a borderless Grand Arbiter Augustine the Fourth. Not bad, actually. Um, not a huge hit, but I know this one is very useful in a lot of stuff, especially Commander. Anything, uh, anything Azorius, it's a great card to run. All right, not bad. And then we have a Etched Foil Fiery Justice. Not a, not one of the best. Here, let's make some room. We'll put our borderless there. Yeah, and we're reserving this center space for any big wins that we get. So hopefully we get some. And then our borderless foil is Kozilek, Butcher of Truth. And that is, oh my God. That is, I think that's a textured foil. Holy cow. Look at that. Oh, that's incredible. If you haven't seen one of these in person, it's so different holy cow all right that was a lackluster pack right up until that and i'm gonna let's let's get that in a sleeve right away holy cow okay i'm i'm shaking just a little bit that's awesome very low chance on these i, I think it's a like the three percent chance kind of like the hitetsugu Holy cow. That's absolutely gorgeous. That's incredible. All right. So that's, uh, whew, it's quite the pull. All right. Three more packs to go. So really, uh, I think we're, we're doing well so far. So let's, let's keep going. See if we can get some more value out of this. All right. Yeah. Foil Golgari Rot Farm. That's nice. River Hoopy Hoopo. All right, we got a Borderless Burning Tree Emissary. Very nice. We have a Borderless Blood Artist. That's very nice. All right, we got a Foil Borderless Demir Aqueduct. Love that. And a Foil Borderless Mentor of the Meek. Also great. All right, so our first foil in this pack. That is Terriel Reckoner of Souls. Not too shabby. Decent card. And then we have a borderless Mimeoplasm, which is fine. Art's really cool on it. I know it's not really a big hit on the, on the value scale, but really cool art for that one. Our etched foil is Marchesa, the Black Rose. You know what? I'm willing to bet that's a, that's a decent one because uh, it's a nice treatment for that card. But hey, like that a lot. And then we have a foil borderless Gifts Ungiven. So that's, uh, uh, as far as the borderless foils, this one is pretty bad, but 
hey, really cool art. Not gonna not gonna complain too much because we got that Kozilek. So there we are with our token. All right, next pack. So pack three. Let's see what we get here. Okay, so we got a spell pierce. Let's get these out of the way. Just want you to be able to see them if you haven't opened any of these packs. There's some pretty cool stuff. Some nice art on a lot of these. Devoted Druid is a very fun card to get. Breakthrough. All right, and we got a board of this Rampant Growth. Nice art on that one. We got an Inquisition of Kozilek. Really fantastic art by RK Post. I really, absolutely awesome art. All right. Then we have a foil, Borderless Seeker of the Way. Hey, and a Borderless Foil, Ractos Carnarium. That's a Thomas Baxa, that's very nice. All right, we got Judith, the Scourge Diva, as our foil rare. We have another Marchesa, the Black Rose. That's the board, the, just the regular Borderless. It's Richard Kane Ferguson. That is some very busy art. Pretty cool. Kind of crazy, I've seen foils of this and it's ridiculous. All right, and then let's see what we get for our etched foil. That is Green Sun Zenith. That's fantastic. That's a good looking card. I really like the, the frame on the etched. It just looks nice. Yeah. And I, I especially just kind of love the, the contrast on the text. It looks really nice. All right, and then let's see what our borderless foil is. It is the Mimeoplasm. Oof. All right, I'm gonna put Green Sun Zenith in the wind column. We got a foil borderless Mimeoplasm. Not the best, but you know, we've got other good stuff, so not too worried. All right, and then let's keep going. Let's see what we get here. All right, there's our Ballastry Spy. That's really cool art, so it'll be on reality. All right, Deep Analysis, Skeleton Archer, Mana Leak, Surreal Memoir. Eternal Witness, the regular one. It's really nice Chris Ron art. I love the art for this one. I kind of wish that the uh, the Borderless used this art. It's gorgeous. All right, we got a Borderless Thought Scour, Rakdos Carnarium, Foil Borderless, Coiling Oracle, and a Boros Garrison. Very nice. All right, and let's see our first foil. It is Disciple of the Ring. Interesting, probably not a great one. Let's see our borderless. That is Ulamog. All right, that's another solid mythic hit. I don't think we've hit that many on mythics. Yeah, Mimeoplasm is a rare, Marchesa is a rare. Yeah, we have not hit a lot of mythics. This is only our second, looks like. So Ulamog pulling in clutch in the last pack. Very, very nice. All right, and then we have a Etched Foil Grand Arbiter Augustine, the fourth. Not bad. Nice treatment on that. And let's see what we get for our borderless foil. It is Bloom Tender. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, I think that one is a win as well. That's very nice. All right, we've got Bloom Tender. Hey, and we got the, uh, the Renin Six emblem. Whoa, drop that. All right, and the Prowess Monk, that's very nice. I definitely need that. All right, so we didn't hit a lot of stuff on the extras. Like we got some kind of okay things on the side. Mimeoplasm is kind of a bunk hit, but you know, it's not too bad. And I think these are probably something. Marchesa and, and Grand Arbiter Augustine probably are bigger ones out of that. And uh, I don't think our foil rares, maybe Terial, but yeah, I'm not sure about those. Nothing too crazy in there, but we definitely did strike it. Uh, we hit the lottery on this one. We got Bloom Tender, we got Ulamog, which is very good. Green Sun Zenith, probably less than Ulamog, but this uh, textured foil Kozilek, that is incredible. All right, makes me very happy that I'm recording these because, uh, you know, I, I like, to, like to preserve these moments, be able to share them, so that's awesome. All right, well, thanks for coming along on this journey with me. And uh, yeah, we'll have more coming. Probably not much more in the way of Double Masters because, I mean, it's a hard to it's hard to get. But yeah, keep an eye on the channel. Feel free to follow so you can see the new videos. But uh, even in this case, 
if it's uh, unlikely even. I hope your packs are better than mine. Until next time. Bye.